So now we go to the next match. Leo D., who I've never heard of, Kit Reaver, and the Knockout Kings. And I like the Knockout Kings. I've seen the Knockout Kings in WWX, and they were pretty damn interesting when I seen them there. Supposedly, somebody tried to call me on Skype a few moments ago. I don't even know who that is. We'll figure it out. Leo D coming out. We've got a CG, which is good. I don't know who Leo D is. He's out high fiving the twenty five people that are in the that are in the building. That is too bad that it that they shot that building the way that it is. What I always thought is what I always think is funny about. Uh, PCW shows back when they were doing stuff at the old school house. I would be told by several people constantly. Um, oh my God, they got a capacity crowd. And I'm like, really? And they would call me. I would be at the house doing nothing. And they would call me. They'd be like, oh my God, they're sold out. They're hanging from the rafters. And I'd be like, okay. I drove by earlier, and I found out that there was 20 people in the parking lot, and I think most of those were the boys. But um, then, usually around midnight, photos start surfacing on Facebook or videos, or I see videos later like this, and it's like, no, it's the same 25 people that are at every show. <laughs> same 25 people. So why do this show downtown at the Baker Ballroom? They could get, I think it was cheaper to rent the old stadium to do this. I don't know. Don't know. We have some um, CGs, which is good. I will have to say, I do like the fact that they've started using CGs so I can know who these people are. They don't keep them on the screen long enough, but I've always been a fan of Kit Reaver. I don't know who the hell Leo D is, but he seemed like he had a good attitude. I think the Knockout Kings are not from this area. So once again, I think that's another, I'm going to book guys from not this area so I can get bookings somewhere else. Billy Simmons. Signed Billy Simmons. Uh, <laughs> so, the Knockout Kings, baby. Versus... Leo D and Kit Reaver. So let me get this straight. They book this show. Okay. At the Baker Ballroom. They book shows at the mall. They book shows at the armory. They're going to do a show at Memorial Hall, which, by the way, I don't think you're going to promote well. Imagine this crowd right here in Memorial Hall. Empty. <laughs> Empty. Say it with me for a third time. Empty. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. So, Leo D, Kit Reaver versus the Knockout Kings. Now, where is Leo D from? See, I need to have, I need to have, oh, the Facebook open. 
So I can immediately type in and find out where some of these guys are from. I need to basically do that. Leo D. Leo D. Leo D. You know, I heard, um, speaking of Aaron Helms, I heard a story the other day. Leo D trying to get the fans behind Kit Reaper early on in this match. Handgun Dan does not like the crowd getting behind him. I, uh, I heard a... I heard a story the other day from someone that apparently when Road Warrior Animal did a seminar in Russell? I guess Aaron Helms gave uh, gave Animal the uh, the the two finger the, the 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 worker handshake. I don't know if you've ever gotten that before. Jim Cornette does an entire rant on the worker handshake. If you get a chance, look that up on YouTube. <laughs> and apparently he dressed him down. And then at one point he made a comment about uh, Helms made a comment about Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, and was talking about Uncle Bob, Bob Evans, not the burger guy, the wrestler. And Animal made a comment about where's he work, and it was like, does he work for WWE? Does he work in Japan? And they're like, no, he works for like ROH or whatever. An animal was like, here's the deal. If you don't work for Vince or you don't work in Japan, you ain't working in the wrestling business. The rest of this crap is just that crap. So Leo D is from Overland Park, Kansas. So once again, not local. Not local. thing I'm trying to figure out watching this match and watching some of the stuff that these guys are doing that's pretty that's pretty cool Kit Reaver with the little tag and then doing the move and hitting the tag Huh. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, you've got Kit Reaver here. And the <laughs> Leo D, Mr. Overland Park. Kyle I'll just call him Kyle. Um, versus the Knockout Kings in a half-empty building at the Baker Ballroom for PCW. Thank God we haven't seen Pena in over almost an hour. <laughs> it's an hour and 11 in. Thank God we haven't seen Pena in forever. I do like the uh, the setup of this building, though. This is quite the little setup. The camera stuff's gotten a little bit better. We're starting to work in CGs. We still the the play by play stuff is still kind of. And I shouldn't I shouldn't say the play by play stuff because the play by play I think's been fine. What I haven't heard, what I haven't he listened to. Someone check on Leo D. I do not know how that landing went. It looks like he landed face first on the concrete floors here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. In 
right to that steel turnbuckle. Steel turnbuckle? Don't you mean steel pole there, Billy? It's your ring. You put it up. Well, you probably didn't put it up. <laughs> you probably drove it there and had the boys put it up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get all sorts of nasty messages and nasty hate mail. and I'm going to get all sorts of nasty comments from all sorts of people. I am definitely going to get some nasty comments from all sorts of people. Um, about me making comments on this show. Okay, so Leo D and Kit Reaver here. I'll tell you, honestly, this match terribly, terribly bores me. So I am going to fast forward to the end. Uh, the Knockout Kings won. They have won. They have beat Leo D, the Kansas City guy, and the Kit River man, who is technically a Kansas City guy as well. Huh. So... Are those XWE tag team titles? Or are they... No, they're considered KWA titles, I believe. I believe those are considered KWA belts. Huh. Huh. <laughs> 